Hello everyone, my name is Craig Chamberlain with Precision Electric at precision-elect.com. Your industrial automation service center drives, motors, controls. We've done it all for over 30 years. If you have any questions, make sure you give us a call. Today we are continuing in our SVX 9000 series. We're gonna be covering how to wire the selector switches here to initiate a forward command and a reverse command respectively. I'm using two selector switches because I've only got single switch selector switches. If you've got a three-way selector switch, you can certainly just use one. So let's go ahead and get it wired and uh, get it going. Okay, so if you look at the manual, it ships with a basic application setting for your macro. Now, if you look at this macro, you'll see a wiring diagram. From terminal six, which is our control voltage, plus 24 volts, we need to switch terminal six to terminal eight, which is digital input one, which is our start forward, and then if we want to do start reverse, we need to switch terminal nine, which is digital input two, and start reverse. And you'll notice these switches right here on the electrical diagram. So if I actually pull that terminal, you can just wiggle it off and pull it off the drive itself. We can take a look at the terminals I have here that are wired. So terminal six has our plus 24 volt control voltage. And I have this going out to the common part of my switch. And then on the other side of my switches, they are switching the voltage to make it flow from terminal six into terminal eight. And this is my start forward as we saw in the diagram. So my forward switch is, is wired there. And then for my reverse switch, I have the plus voltage coming out from my terminal six to my terminal nine, which is when that closes, the voltage will flow there. Now, if I turn on both of these at the same time, they're not actually going to go forward or reverse. They'll just, it'll just stop. So I have to make sure in my case to turn off one switch when I'm turning on the other. But if you have a three-way selector switch, it's only gonna be one or the other. But essentially, that's how you wire it. So now that it's wired up, we're gonna go ahead and power it. And since we essentially set up the program already in the other videos, we don't actually need to do any additional programming for this wiring setup. Now, when we go into the next video, we're gonna be wiring our push buttons. We are gonna to have to make some program changes, but out of the box, the SVX is pre-programmed for selector switch control. So once I get booted up, there's one more step that's absolutely essential in this, and there's a local remote button on here. And when you press that, you need to be able to switch to remote. So when I press it, and then I press enter, it will allow me to switch between local and remote control. Now the only way my IO on my wiring here is gonna work is if I'm in remote control. So then I can just flip that switch and that's my forward. Right now I'm rotating clockwise. I can still use the up and down arrow keys if I want to change my speed. And then I turn off my forward turn on my reverse, and now I'm rotating counterclockwise. And that's it. So if you have any questions, make sure you swing by our website or give us a call. That's at precision-elect.com. My name is Craig Chamberlain. We are your industrial automation service center. Drives, motors, controls, we've done it all for over 30 years. And uh, we're here to help. Have a good day.